All right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's Everyman Crossword, uh, published Saturday night. I think it's for Sunday. Um, and I did have a look through some of the down clues. There are a few I think I have. Uh, 21 down, nail that may be put to use in stable. So I just thought of different words for a nail or some kind of sharp pin type object. And I thought of a stud, which of course would be put to use in a stable. And then most of cheek in undergarments, I correctly thought along the lines of a word for cheek. And then when you shorten it, drop off maybe the last letter, you get something for undergarments. Well, undergarments, I was trying to think, it is plural. So I thought of brass, which of course is uh, brass. Um, you say somebody has a lot of brass if they have cheek. So these are hopefully going to be helpful. And this one, Cricketers Botched Friendlies. I thought that must be an anagram of friendlies. And um, I believe, I haven't double-checked, but infielders, who of course we also have in baseball, but... That seems right. So now I have some good uh, starting letters for some uh, crosses. Long time back, every man's included as potential success. So, of course, every man is the uh, setter. So um, that could be... Yeah, some word for long or time, and then we put in I or me. I'm thinking the meaning is going to be potential success, although that does seem funny sort of definition of potential success. Yeah, I'm not sure I get that. Um, how you may draw back wanting time mistakenly. Um, it does seem <laughs> to be, excuse me, in something, in error. Oh, yes. So if you, you can draw back in terror, oops, and I, my mouth is saying it, so of course my fingers start typing it. Uh, so you draw back in terror, but you lose the T for time, and then you get in error. Uh, blow a fuse, as you did with news of the world, Mr. Murdoch? Question mark. Well, I think news of the world is the one they shut down after one of the uh, hacking scandals. Was it the hey, It was one of their scandals, anyway. I think it's going to be something like lose your top. Um, I'm going to put it in. I know they refer to some of the more down market newspapers as red tops. Oh, how, why am I not <laughs> typing what I'm thinking? Anyway, lose your top. Um, so we'll see if that agrees with the downs. Uh, that looks a little odd, R something Y. Part of salad board in actor's space. Could be, could mean part of salad. Oh, maybe lose one's top. Um, that I think is more likely, if it's going to be that at all. Oh, but it, now it's actor's space could be something room. Actor's space. And part of salad board. Hmm. No, not sure what that is. How about this one? Seabird, R2, as we can hear. Okay, so a homophone maybe for two, R2, and it would mean 
a seabird, I think. I'm thinking of a four letter seabird beginning with E. No. All right, how about uh, soft, incredibly lustrous kimono at the outset? Uh, yeah. So, especially having the initial S, we. Uh, this is one where the wordplay is also used as the definition. So silk is formed from the first letters of soft, incredibly lustrous kimono. Now it gives us some good letters for 14 down. Aloof. Crossword setters, public image, ultimately awful. Oh, not sure what to do with the crossword setters part. Oh, it could be my, I suppose. Um, I was thinking it might mean aloof. But uh, nothing is coming to me, ending in full, no, not sure, all right, what other ones, oh, 18, looks like we have some good letters here, if um, in error, well, I'm pretty sure about in error, but lose one's top, I'm not sure about, hoofed mammals, Traveled to this place in East London. I am thinking for hoofed mammals, red deer, but what that has to do. Oh, well, travel to this place. I think it's going to be a Cockney pronunciation homophone thing, something ear. So I think deer is probably right. Um, traveled road, road deer. Yeah, is there a road deer? Let me pause and check that. Yes, there is. So um, maybe lose one's top is correct. Language used when specifying a kind of bath. What is a kind of bath? Bubble bath? Um, taking a bath financially? No, not getting that. Hot priest, we're told, achieved a noisy mode of transport. Um, not even sure. I think maybe the definition is hot, and then all the rest is wordplay, or maybe it is just mode of transport. So I presume the homophone is going to be priest, father, um, curate, and then achieved a noisy. No, not getting that. Who shouted Eureka and screamed hi running around? Uh, that's a good question. Um, Shouted Eureka, and I wonder if it could be an anagram of screamed hi. Oh, Archimedes, of course. For some reason, his name was not coming to me, but there we go. That gives us, oh, a very useful P there, an 11 down. Terrible scene. Woven on goddamn weaving device. 
Um, so Goddamn, I think, should have an N at the end of it. So I'm wondering if those letters, especially seeing the M, are going to be put in some form of anagram. But then a weaving device, I'm thinking loom. Yeah, I'm thinking it's going to be something and... Oh, yes, and of course, Murdoch lost his rag. Ah, uh, yes. You blow your top, you don't lose your top. <laughs> yeah. Unless you're in the sun or something, then you might. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. so this is um, doom and gloom. Yeah, that... Let's see if I can... Um, I think certainly the last loom is the weaving device. And I think then it's just an anagram of on goddamn for the first part. Yes. Language, oh yeah. Specifying a kind of bath. Is it a just a some kind of punning double definition? Language used. Or maybe a word for language word for used. No, not getting that. Okay, let's look at 19 across. Is the writer, so that's going to be I or me, or it could be pen, I suppose, tucking into fish somewhere on the med. Yes, yeah, so I think it's is and I tucking into tuna, and so Tunisia is on the Mediterranean. Um, language used well, through fits, but I don't see how that would have anything to do with either part. All right. I'm surprised seeing French man with salad as a rule. As a rule. Well, I'm surprised could be am I. But then French man with salad. I'm thinking the whole thing means as a rule. I'm wondering if it could be a Latin phrase. No. All right, let's go back to the beginning. Uh, producing a lot of fear very much. Uh, could that be an anagram of a lot of fear? It's the right number of letters. And very much. No, not seeing that. Milky duck mate. Um, I think duck can be the letter O. So either it's... Um, Something O meaning mate, or O, O, is, would you describe an opal as being milky? I think maybe they are milky white. I'm going to pause and check that. Well, opals can be a lot of different colors, including mixtures, but um, I do see there's something called a milky opal. That is an Australian white opal. So I'm happy enough to leave it for now and then we can always remove it if the crossing letters disagree. Academic reimagined islets to no avail. So I think it's going to mean to no avail. 
and a word for academic followed by an anagram of islets to no avail, maybe ending in IST, and then uh, that still leaves us LES. Academic. What will that be? Professor, prof, profil, profelsist. No, nothing is uh, coming. I may be, oops, uh, I definitely want the S, but I may be wrong in the IST to no avail. No, not getting it. Raw, one careens with luge and sweats, perhaps. I think um, sweats, perhaps, is saying that sweats, as in um, sweatpants, sweat shirts, are examples. So I think it's going to be some kind of wear. Um... Uh, it's not leisure wear. Lounge wear? Is that all one word? Raw. One kare ah, yeah. One careens with... Lu oh, yeah, it's raw one and luge all together, I think, do make lounge wear. Ooh, gives us a nice uh, ending in you here. Time. Flying saucer returned. Oh, well, that suggests uh, a UFO returned, and with T for time, this gives us something to eat. Ooh, this is a funny one. Incognizant, unsettled, backing. Uh, unsettled perhaps suggests an anagram. Of course, backing could also mean um, going backwards, but I think it's going to be an anagram of incognizant and probably ending in ing. So let's do our anagram incognizant backing, which can have several different um, meanings. Oh, uh, sanctioning, I think, which, of course, is one of those words that can mean the opposite. But it can mean backing as well as uh, dis disapproving in the sense that you apply sanctions. So this does look like it could be to no avail. Oh, profitless, of course, yes. Yeah, yeah. Should have got that sooner. So as a rule, I think it's something law. Seeing Frenchman with salad. Oh, uh, something slaw, I suppose, could be. Um, oh, and I think I'm surprised it's simply, oh, <laughs> that's a little tricky. And the French man is Monsieur M. And then salad isn't really a slaw. I don't know. Maybe it is. Uh, monarchy taking part in raffle. So thoughtful. They were so thoughtful. Wow, that's uh, the exclamation, I think, is sh telling us this is going to be a very cryptic definition here. I assume the um, wordplay is something for monarchy put inside 
a word for a raffle. I wonder if raffle could be lotto. So thoughtful. What would monarchy be? We'd only have two letters for monarchy. Which doesn't seem enough. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Let's um, try one down. Appreciates accommodation. Um, oh, I was just thinking of a short word for where you might stay, and I thought of digs. So that's a bit of a throwback word to dig something. Um, now producing a lot of fear very much begins with a D. Uh, so then it's not an anagram of a lot of fear. Yeah, so maybe just a double definition, but the first one may maybe a bit of a pun producing a lot of fear very much. Or maybe it's <laughs> excuse me, a word for producing. But I think it's gonna maybe be an L L Y ending? Maybe not. Around forest, finally decomposing, socks that'll feed plants. Now I'm very suspicious of the that'll. Um, finally yeah, I mean, finally, oh, I think maybe it's around forest, finally, so it's around the T of, finally, no, yeah, I, I have too many letters to anagram, oh, but socks maybe is a, another anagram indicator that you sock that'll, and then we need to get f feed plants, I think is going to be the definition. Wow, there's so many uh, confusing words here that indicate wordplay around. I do think it might be around a T somewhere in the middle. Or, or else, well, it does begin with G, so finally decomposing is a G. Well, maybe it's around forest. Um, socks that'll feed plants. Or maybe, yeah, maybe it'll, um, <laughs> I don't know. So many possibilities, too many. Oh, our um, bath now starts with, oh, did I yeah, see that before? That I was thinking of through, but I do not understand that. Um, all right, what ones have we not looked at? Get mad, aunt rethinks anger at heart. Well, again, get mad could be an anagram indicator, but is it of the word get or the word aunt? And does it, what does it mean? I mean, it could mean get mad or it could mean at heart. But I'm thinking anger at heart is you put something like ire in the middle of it. I wonder if it could be an anagram of ant with ire, or even a rethink of ire in its middle. Wow, so many possibilities. All right, I've had a reasonable start, but now I'm running into 
a lot of issues. I should be able to get a seabird or two as we can hear. I'm going to pause and look up a list of uh, seabirds and see if any fit. No, I didn't find any uh, seabird beginning with E. Um, I then went and looked at this hot priest again. Um, I just saw that the word helicopter fits, but of course I've no idea how that defines hot priest. We're told achieved a noisy. Well, I can see how in the English pronunciation to achieve something can be to cop it. And so you'd have helicopter, helicopter. Um, there was, wasn't there in, um, oh, what was that uh, television show with Phoebe Waller-Bridges, Bridgers Waller? Uh, there was a hot priest character. Was his name Heli or something that sounded like that? Anyway, then I looked at uh, 19 down and just now with the R thought of a language and then also a kind of bath would be Turkish. Now, um, yeah, it's the used seems superfluous, but anyway. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to take a break here and then come back later and see if I can uh, finish this or come up with good guesses for them. All right, it is much later the same day. I've been out doing Christmas shopping, cooking, all sorts of things. Anyway, um, I did take a look at some of these again. And so this one, I think it's pretty obvious now, uh, producing a lot of fear, <laughs> excuse me, and then dr uh, very much. Uh, if you say something um, is dreadfully good, it's very much good, but also full of dread would be producing a lot of fear. Something I was looking at, um, monarchy taking part in raffle so thoughtful nothing to do with raffle i was trying to think what would fit here and i thought of the country in africa i've always said lesotho lesotho i'm not even sure how to say the th part but i think it might actually pronounce more lesotho um and it's a hidden clue so within raffle starting at the l there's that country name and it is a monarchy um, let's see. Um, oh, yeah, this one is also a hidden clue. It's a dollop or part of Bernays starting at the E, that is urn. So now looking at nine across, around forest, finally decomposing socks, that'll feed plants so i think the meaning is that'll feed plants and um, i just now thought of garden and garden hose fits and of course hose oops not h-o-e-s h-o-s-e hose can be stockings or socks um, and the forest is the forest of arden i know it's in shakespeare is it a real forest i presume it is so around Arden, you have the G, which is the final letter in decomposing, and then the hose. Okay. Um, could get mad, Ant rethinks, anger at heart, be unhinge. I think the question mark might be because we generally say unhinged. Um, I don't know what you call it when you don't use a verb in the normal way. Um, but but then where do we get the ant rethinks? I mean, we have, oh, 
Ah, yes, yes, yes. So it's the at heart of ant is UN. For rethinks, we have the HIN. Um, and then the GE. E in the heart of anger. So, yeah, I, I'm pretty confident that is right. Uh, and then a part of salad bored in actor's space with the uh, letters, I think it has to be dressing room, where dressing is a part of a salad. And if you pay for room and board, uh, well, room, your room is your board. And that is where an actor prepares their space. So the, uh, the right hand side is finished, the top left. It's just really this bottom left central part we need to do. Let's try this um, long time back. Every man's included as potential success. What um, what word would even fit? I'm wondering if that could be an S. Uh, nonsense is too long. Um, could be a G, of course. Long time back yeah I'm not sure that's a uh, tricky man tricky one <laughs> um, yeah not sure uh, let's look at 14 aloof crossword setters public image ultimately awful no, nothing coming to me on that. And then seabird are two, as we can hear. Yeah, I'm not sure what that could be. I'm going to have to have another look. I looked earlier for seabirds. I am thinking, though, there is something, not earth, but something like that. What would the ending of 14 down be? Could be an I-C-A-L. I think it's going to mean awful. Or maybe it means aloof. Is there a term for the crossword setter's public image? Uh, they use a pen name, right, or a, a handle of some kind. Is there a, a name for that? Now, I'm going to pause, uh, sip my after-dinner coffee, and think about this. Maybe look up some online resources. Well, there, yeah, the, what I was trying to think of, I said Urs. It's actually Urn. It's another name, I believe, for the sea eagle. Uh, but why that would be defined as seabird R2, as we can hear, other than I did see it can be spelt without the final E, which would be pronounced the same way. And is that... Is that what that means? I don't know. Unfortunately, we can't uh, check it uh, until next week. Um, but I'll leave it in now. So we now have an ending in S something N. Probably AL, I would think. And um, I suppose it could be an I or an O or an A there. Um, and does it mean, oh, um, aloof could be impersonal. Uh, 
And so maybe, I don't know, crossword set are referring to themselves. They might be saying, I'm personal, I'm person, public image. Oh no, <laughs> I don't understand that at all. Uh, thank you to the commenter last week who explained uh, or gave me the answer to one I couldn't finish. Uh, pontoon. All right, then this would be N something M. Potential success. I was thinking of something like a near miss, but uh, obviously not that. Um, what could that be? I'm going to pause again. Well, I did have to uh, look at uh, something that said words that would fit a certain pattern, and I should have thought of the word nominee, although that double E ending isn't the most obvious one to think of. So how do we get this? I think the I is representing every man's included. Um, long time back? Well, M-O-N for month is back. And I can see a nominee being, you know, if you're nominated for an award, you're potentially going to be a winner. So... Yeah, I think that the E, the N-E-E, N-O-M, N-E-E, how is that a long time? Well, back might mean we reverse something, but then it's E-E-N-M-O-N. -E -E no, I don't understand that at all, I'm afraid. If you do, or if you think I got one of these wrong, please let me know in the comments. But that is the Everyman crossword for this week. Yeah, I found that a little bit tricky in parts, uh, but sort of got there in the end. Anyway, thank you for watching and have a great day.